They're uh, able to use them just like they would uh, a phone from outside. An upstate jail is putting cell phones into the hands of its inmates. The Union County Jail is in its first month with this new initiative. The inmates have to buy the phones, which will then be monitored. 7 News reporter Nikel Smith talked with the sheriff, and he explained why they're doing this. What did he say, Nikel? Well, Tom, the sheriff's office is no longer running the jail as of this month, but the sheriff says they've been working to get these cell phones since last year, and they say it's to help make the jail safer. People don't understand, so well, what are you doing giving inmates phones in the facility? Inmates held at the Union County Jail can now buy cell phones to use while they're locked up. They purchased the phones for uh, $100. Sheriff David Taylor says his office no longer runs the jail, but has been working to bring this new service to its inmate through a company called Lattice Incorporated. He says inmates buy the phones in the commissary and relatives can add minutes to use from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. For them to make phone calls, they're able to text from these phones. He says the devices do come with limitations. They can't access the internet, they can't access Facebook, they can't uh, Snapchat, none of that stuff. The sheriff says a key safety aspect is that these cell phones are going to be monitored. We can view their text messages. We can listen to their phone calls. So why these new cell phones? It cuts down on mischief in the jail. The sheriff says idle inmates can mean trouble. Fighting, um, different things, and confrontation with correctional facility, uh, correctional officers. Time, he says, can be spent with games, music, or reading downloaded from access points. They can uh, download the GED program. All part of what he says are improvements like the new video visitation system. This adds another uh, method of safety. And the sheriff says they don't have a big contraband cell phone problem in Union County as we see in the state prisons, sure. Tom, but he says he hopes that this helps prevent that from happening. Boy, I can just hear the taxpayers screaming out right now, Nikel. Mm. Who's paying for this? Are right. we paying for this? Exactly. And the sheriff <laughs> says there are no uh, costs to the Union County taxpayers mm. because of this. Matter of fact, he says the county actually gets a cut of the. Uh, proceeds or the money yeah. from buying the minutes and buying the phones, Tom? Well, this is a, a new program. Mm -hmm. We'll monitor it. We'll see if it works out. Oh, yeah. All right. Nikel, thank you.